Hey everybody, I'm Stacy Lynn and I am going through a step-by-step -step tutorial from the beginning of my summer garden to the end of the summer garden. And that means harvesting, planting the seeds, harvesting the fruit, and then preserving your good food. So that is what I'm going to be doing um, for this entire summer. I'm looking forward to it and eventually I'm going to have a full class on this. Um, and I just want to take you through what we're doing today. So my garden looks pitiful. As you can see, it is all spent, completely and utterly spent. Now I do have some onions and some garlic growing and they're not quite ready to be pulled up, but soon they will be and they will be totally ready and I am excited about that. But I'm going to be pulling up all of these spent um, plants from the winter and we're gonna be putting them in the compost bin. So that's number one, what I'm gonna be doing first. Now, but actually a summer garden begins all the way previous at the end of the previous year when you harvested all of your summer products because as soon as you harvest them then it's time to test your soil and that is the most important thing in starting a new garden so you will have your soil you will send it to your soil testing facility which is usually a nearby college auburn is the the choice around here so we send it to auburn and when we get the results back then we decide how we're going to treat our summer garden the next year we needed to lime our garden this past year so we did lime it as soon as we got the results you need to do that very early on so we limed it and then a couple of weeks later we planted our fall winter garden so this is the end of our fall winter garden and i've already pulled up a whole lot of stuff so i'm going to finish doing that and then the next thing I'm gonna do is to till all of this entire garden. I'm gonna loosen the soil, I'm gonna turn it under, and you know, just get it ready for planting my new seeds. So we have a tiller. If you don't, you can have a handheld tiller. You can till it just by, you know, with a, a you know, shovel and rake. It depends on how big your garden is. Ours is big enough that I feel like we need a tiller. So we have one, and I wanted to show that to you, but I'll show it to you in the next video. Um, um, and then we're gonna reheal our garden. A lot of people don't need hills. My dad's um, garden is on the side of a hill, so he doesn't need that. It, so it drains really well, but our land holds water, so we have to build up. So these are the little mounds that I'm talking about, and they'll be even prettier and bigger um, when we reheal our garden. So that is all, that's all the steps that I'm gonna do for this first episode um, of this garden production. So that's really it. And then the next one I'm going to be teaching you how to select seeds for your area. So that is next. Once we select them, we're going to plant them and then we're going to watch it grow. So y'all, I'm so excited that you're going to be with me during this journey and I hope y'all have a great gardening season as we garden together. I'll talk to you soon.